Hey guys, Allison here. Well, today is a really special day on the church calendar. Today we celebrate the Nativity of Mary, Mary's birthday. Now, we're living through extremely difficult times right now, and a lot of people are very scared, and a lot of people are very worried, but be not dismayed, because Scripture really gives us all the answers, and also Mary's been appearing and giving us answers as well. So if we go back to the book of Genesis, it is predicted that I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your offspring and hers. And that's what we see playing out right now. There is hatred between the children of Mary, Christians, and other people of faith. I don't want to leave anybody else out. Anybody who really loves God and the enemy who's trying to take us down. And we see this encroaching tyranny. We see some really awful things going on in the world. I do the Magnificat prayer after the rosary every day. It's part of the Legion of Mary prayers. And the other day when I was praying it, I thought, wow, you know, what Mary says is truth, all right? Scripture is truth. And what do we know about Scripture? It applied then, it applies now, and it applies in the future. So I want to go over the Magnificat because I want to give it a little bit of hope here because I have a lot of hope. I really think that God is allowing things to come to a head so that he can put it right again. I remember hearing that um, Mary told one of the visionaries in Medjugorje that her triumph had already begun. Just like a good mother takes everything down to clean it before she puts it back right again. So if we keep that in mind, it's really really hopeful and I think we need to be praying, we need to be heeding Mary's message, especially to pray the rosary, to go to confession monthly, to meditate on scripture, to fast if you're able to, even if it's something small, and to make the first five Saturday devotions. But I want to look at the Magnificat because it's so beautiful and, and give you some hope here. So what did Mary say after Elizabeth greets her? She says, my soul magnifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, right? Mary was saved by God in anticipation of the merits of Christ, right? Because he has regarded the lowliness of his handmaid, for behold, from henceforth all generations will call me blessed. Because he that is mighty has done great things to me and holy is his name, get this, and his mercy is from generation to generation to them that fear him. Even now, right? His mercy is from generation to generation on those who fear him. He has shown might with his arm, and he has scattered the proud in the conceit of their hearts. He has put down the mighty from their seats and has exalted the lowly. He's filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he sent away empty. He's given help to Israel, his servant, mindful of his mercy, even as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham and to his seed forever. So think about that. He scattered the proud in the conceit of their hearts. Are we seeing conceit today? Yeah, we are. <laughs> and he has put down the mighty from their thrones, is actually the word, from their thrones, and has exalted the lowly. I think we're in that process here. All right, it was true when Mary spoke it. It's true now. It's true in the future right? We are on the way to the triumph of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Yes, it's going to look bad, all right? The, the devil doesn't go without a fight. In fact, I saw an article recently that said that exorcisms are taking longer than they used to because the evil has become so strong. It's come in from so many di different directions. And we're also in a world that doesn't have as much grace, all right? What are the sources of grace? Prayer, receiving the sacraments, really big one, all right? Living a life of holiness, making sacrifices, those are things that bring down grace. And we've lost it, unfortunately, but we're on the way back. I think we all have to kind of batten down the hatches. We have to be prudent. We have to keep ourselves safe. But we also have to have great hope. If you're struggling with hope, if you find that you're really, really depressed, please reach out to a Catholic therapist on catholictherapist.com because you're not alone. People, people are there to help you. And if you're just trying to figure out, how do I move my life forward? Everything has changed so much. That's where you want to go to catholiclifecoaches.com. So I hope you find that helpful. Please like and share the video. We want to spread a message of, of hope 
to people, right? And also, if you haven't hit the subscribe button, please hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate that. May God bless you. Happy birthday to Mary. And may she keep you under her mantle of protection. God bless you.